Hey Lucy, how you been? Hey Ryan, I'm pretty good. I looked up those scriptures you gave me and I noticed you were right about hell being the word translated when the original writing had something different completely. One word can change an entire idea or meaning. So true. But listen, all of this talk about eternal torment and demons got me thinking about possession and it led me down this whole rabbit hole last week and it seems to me like they're real. What do you think? I don't really believe in demons or possession, to be honest. I used to, though. Oh. Can you tell me more about why you think they're real? Well, there's so many stories out there about people being influenced or possessed by entities, and they perform exorcisms to get rid of them. Plus, what about all the bad dreams that I get all the time? You're right. I can't deny there's plenty of stories being circulated about demonic possession, mm -hmm. and it does sound terrifying, so I completely understand but I think there's probably more of a logical explanation for those experiences. Have you ever considered that these people might have mental health issues or other medical conditions that are causing their symptoms? Mm. Remember, the ideas that we carry throughout the day can affect our dreams, especially if we're in fear of invisible entities. I used to have terrible dreams all the time. Okay. <laughs> all the time. I guess I never thought about it in that respect, but what about people who seem to get better after an exorcism? Well, I think there's a psychological component to exorcisms. When someone believes that they're being possessed and then they go through a ritual that's supposed to drive out the demon, they may feel some kind of sense of relief or catharsis, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they were actually possessed. Are you suggesting it's more of a placebo effect? I do think it can be that simple. I don't know. You sound so sure. You used to believe in demons too, you said? Yep. I thought they were watching my every move to find my weaknesses and trip me up. Yeah, that's similar to what I was taught in church. Listen, my lunch break is almost over. Why don't I leave you with a question to think about, and next time we can continue the discussion based off your answer. Okay. I guess it's not going to do me any harm, so why not? <laughs> nope. Just questions to think about. Okay. What do you think about the fact that beliefs about demons and possessions vary widely across different cultures and religions? How do you know which belief is the correct one? Hmm. How do I know I have the correct belief? It seems like my idea of hell could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about demons too. So I'll see you next week. Same time and place. Bye, Lucy. See ya.